Hello, good afternoon, everyone. We're following breaking news. We've just confirmed a little bit ago by the Little Rock Police Department that a person has been shot dead outside or near the CHI St. Vincent emergency room. If you're familiar with this area, it's near Markham and University. I want to get right to our uh, Cassandra Webb. She's standing by right now. Cassandra, you're outside this hospital in Little Rock. Uh, tell us what you're seeing. Hey Mitch, yeah, I'm standing across the street from St. Vincent. I'm in the parking lot of Stanton Optical, if you're familiar with the area. Uh, McDonald's is on my right. Um, so really what I can see from across the street is, is a heavy police presence, some caution tape, uh, a, a pretty big handful of officers walking around. Um, the hospital security van was moving very quickly to get to the scene when we first arrived. So that, that's all I can see from my vantage point. Um, it's kind of difficult to get up there at the moment, but um, it's it's very active scene. We do know that, as you mentioned, uh, a male was shot just outside of the ER here, and he is dead. Little Rock Police calling this a homicide. So if folks are just joining us right now, we are following a breaking news situation in um, the, the Midtown area of Little Rock. We're learning that uh, a person has been shot. That person has died uh, near the emergency room at St. Vincent Hospital here in Little Rock. Uh, if you're familiar with this area, it's near Markham and University. Still a lot of information that we don't have just yet, but um, certainly a, a situation that we're following. Cassandra, can you talk about the law enforcement presence that's in this area right now? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've got a handful of cruisers. Let me just turn around and look for you. Um, when we first got here, there was probably about five to 10 cruisers and like maybe 10 to 15 officers walking around. Um, we're again, we're across the street, so it's kind of hard to see exactly all the all the details, but um, definitely an active scene. Uh, lots of people milling around, walking around, talking to each other. And I did call Little Rock Police to get some more information. And unfortunately, they can't provide me with anything else. No other details other than what we've already mentioned. Um, but of course, we're going to stay on top of this. And they they were. Uh, quick to say that they would give me some more information as soon as more um, became available. Right now, they're just gathering information at the scene. Well, and Cassandra, I know that um, there is a lot happening right now. I, I want to um, point out a bit of piece of information that I was just able to get from LRPD. Uh, and it, I'm, it's my understanding that there is, um, from the police perspective, there is no immediate concern for public safety or an immediate threat to employees or patients at CHI St. Vincent. So it must be their assumption at this point that the shooter is out of the area as we learn that Little Rock Police uh, responded to uh, reports of a shooting uh, outside the emergency department today, uh, which Cassandra might allude to the fact or, or one of the reasons why uh, we're not seeing, um, you know, more of a, a, a proactive stance or, or, you know, officers with guns. Uh, we're seeing them basically conduct normal business at a crime scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, it's aside from the crime scene, it looks like business as usual at St. Vincent and in the surrounding businesses. Um, Again, I don't want to assume anything. I know that the police are calling this a homicide. Whether a suspect is in custody remains to be seen, um, but it doesn't look like there's any active threat to anyone else, the isolated scene that they currently have um, cleared off. Uh, Cassandra, for folks that are just joining us, uh, I don't know if your photographer is able to zoom out um, on, on your backpack, but I'm interested yeah. for folks, maybe if they're driving in this area, wondering, okay, is, is, you know, are roads open right now? Are, um, you know, is traffic getting by? Um, can you kind of give us a, or set the scene for us? Yeah, sure. I mean, this, this, uh, you know, University Avenue is pretty, uh, there's a lot of traffic around this hour anyway, lunchtime, but sure. uh, it's, it's looking okay. I mean, you've got a lot of people slowing down to kind of check out what's going on. But uh, as you can see there, we've got uh, kind of a normal traffic pattern, um, all things considered. Yeah, especially uh, at one o'clock in the afternoon in the Midtown area of Little Rock. Yeah. 
Cassandra, I, I know I, I, I can't keep you long because um, you're still trying to get a lot of information from the Little Rock Police Department. So I, I appreciate um, your insights there at the scene uh, as uh, you're sure. one of the first few reporters there to arrive as we try and get an idea of what's happened here. It's also worth noting, Cassandra, uh, you mentioned uh, the security uh, that was there. Um, you know, it, the CHI St. Vincent is Cassandra, you know, you, you know, you've been a reporter here for some time. Um, they don't have, uh, unless something's changed in recent days, uh, they do not have uniform police officers. They don't have their own police force uh, at this mm -hmm. hospital, unlike uh, hospitals like UAMS or um, um, Baptist. Uh, so just an interesting note here, you mentioned the security, um, you know, yeah. they don't have their own police officers. Yeah, uh, when we first got here, we were circling the campus trying to find out where the scene was. We actually came in from a different direction. And of course, you know, when you're driving, you're looking around, you're kind of going a little slow. <laughs> Hospital security was behind me and I, I, they were looking very impatient. So I, I moved over and they went right around me and kind of buzzed past uh, through this employee only gate. And that's when we kind of realized, okay, there's definitely something going on. We need to take an, uh, another corner and figure out where this is. And then as soon as we turned left on the university, that's when we saw the, the crime scene tape. So um, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate, but sure. Well, Cassandra, but they were quick. They were quick to respond. Sure. Well, Cassandra, I'll let you go. I know that you still have a lot to get to. We're going to continue our live coverage. So if you mm -hmm. get some new information, uh, feel free to zoom back in. Uh, and, and I we'll definitely take you will. <laughs> All right. Hey, Cassandra Webb, thank you so much. Cassandra right. is live for us thank right you. now outside uh, CHI St. Vincent. Uh, if you're just joining us here, I want to recap for you what we know at this very moment. We know, according to Little Rock Police, that there was a shooting uh, near or outside uh, the emergency room at CHI St. Vincent. Uh, we know that this shooting happened um, around the noon hour today uh, when, when these reports started coming in and you now have a fairly large police presence outside the hospital. I want to get to video that we have from one of our crews that is uh, slightly elevated at this point because this person is in the Midtown area right now. It's uh, Hunter Hoagland. He is near CHI St. Vincent. This kind of gives us a bird's eye view to the presence outside the hospital right now. You see the lines of police cars uh, outside the emergency department. I'm trying to get my um, my vantage point. Okay, so for folks that are familiar with this area, the hospital's helipad uh, is right here. So it's right outside the emergency department where uh, this, uh, it appears that the, the, the focal point of this crime scene is at this hour. So. Uh, for folks that are familiar with the area, the medical helicopters would land right out uh, on this helipad here, right off of University of University here. So uh, this kind of gives you a, a, a bird's eye view, a, a high a elevated perspective to this crime scene here at CHI St. Vincent. You see, of course, the flashing blue lights. This is the law enforcement in the area. And you have, you know, right down here is that shopping plaza where people would pull in to go shopping. So this is a, an elevated perspective to this uh, crime scene at CHI St. Vincent right now. Of course, the yellow tape, uh, not seeing any crime scene units here, but this was as of just a few moments ago. Uh, let me get an exact time frame for you. 21 minutes ago is when uh, Hunter tweeted this. So certainly a, a bird's eye perspective here to this uh, to this scene that is unfolding uh, here in Little Rock. As we know that a person, according to Little Rock police, has been shot outside the emergency department uh, at CHI St. Vincent in Little Rock. I do want to give a perspective uh, for folks not familiar with the Little Rock area uh, where this hospital is. And this is our, our map here. Let me zoom out and, and I can zoom back in. So you have the, the intersection of uh, Markham and University right here. And you have the hospital uh, right here. So this is uh, uh, a pretty good uh, perspective to where this crime scene is set up now. Uh, you know, the video was being shot from Hunter over here. And then uh, this is basically the area where police have now cornered off uh, this crime scene. So certainly a lot of moving parts to this story as we begin to um, understand that a person has been shot outside CHI St. Vincent's emergency room. We are told by Little Rock police 
that there is, um, according to authorities, there is no immediate threat um, to hospital staff or employees, which one would assume that um, uh, the, the, the shooter has, has either left the hospital's campus or a suspect is in custody. At last check, and this was according to the hospital official, the shooter had fled the campus. But again, you know, we're, we're waiting on police confirmation uh, at this point uh, since, since those are going to be the officers uh, first on scene and those are the officers with the very latest to this investigation. But for folks just joining us, I want to recap what we know at this point. We know that somebody has been shot outside the emergency department at CHI St. Vincent. This is near the Markham and University area. We know that uh, this is now a homicide investigation according to LRPD and according to officers, there is no immediate threat to public safety or no immediate threat to hospital staff or patients. Uh, and that is according to C, uh, LRPD. Still a lot of moving parts to this. Our Cassandra Webb is at the scene. As soon as we get updates uh, to this story, we'll certainly pass it along to you. It's a good time now to download the KARK and Fox 16 smartphone apps. We will send breaking news alerts right to your phone throughout the day as this breaking news story continues to develop. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. This has been a breaking news report.